How's it going, you guys? Nathaniel R here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to be going over the jewel cutting craft. And so uh, just for my research, sadly, I wasn't able to do too much. I only did research up until level 100. So if you are wanting to go above 100, I didn't do enough research and I spent a long time just doing this on, up until that point. So if you're wanting to go higher than that, I haven't done enough to be able to give you a an, an answer towards that. So I don't want you to waste your time doing that. Um, but and also I will say I'm le I will leave timestamps down below. So if you want to skip to a certain point, you could do that. Um, so you can get that information that you are looking for faster. Um, so let's jump right into it. We're, we're going to start off and we're going to start off over at the uh, clothing station, whatever it's called, uh, the outfitting station. We're going to cut these down. I'm going to cut these down. So as you can see, my jewel cutting uh, cr uh, jewel craft skill is only at 10. And it's because, at least for me personally, I'm saving all of my gems and stuff like that for... Oh, what was it? I'm trying to get to the higher tier stuff that I can put to my necklace. So I haven't been putting any time into leveling this up, which... It's probably dumb, but I just I have really good jewels on my character that I enjoy a lot more than the ones that I can get later on for this. But if you are going for something specific, this will help you out. So going to this, uh, if we go all the way down to the uh, jewel cutting stuff for the amulets and whatnot, from what I found, the best items that you can make at least until 100 are going to be these flawed ones right here. So the amulet, the pearl, all, all these different ones are going to be your best bet. Um, I was looking and even if you, you decide to get these uh, the weak gemstone dust or these other ones, they take a lot, lot, lot of the moats and wisps to be able to make these for one of these necklaces i can make seven necklaces for one of these and how much or how many moats it takes to craft them um so just one of these takes up about uh i think it was 15 moats to make one of these necklaces or these rings but for these it takes only two moats so i can make about seven different necklaces or whatever for the same amount um the only difference is is that it does take more of the silver and stuff like that you're going to be making and crafting but silver is extremely easy to get and i'll show you exactly where i go to get my silver so where i go from everfall uh shocker uh going up from everfall all the way up here there is a fast travel point and then there's this mine area right here i will leave a picture up showing exactly but it is super saturated there's a ton 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 there and just me going over there once i'll show you exactly what i got so just going over there once i got a hundred and or sorry one thousand nine hundred and sixty of the silver ore i found 466 um, uh, iron over there which is fantastic and then these are all the gems that i got just from mining those right there so not too bad and i just went over the once and it took me about 10 minutes i just went and got everything and i was done be wary though i will say that the enemies are level 15 to 17 i believe so if you do go over there and you are a lower level than that just be careful for that but just from what i've found out from that it does it's just these it's just going to be more beneficial for, to you because you can easily collect silver and that's one of the main points of this and then this gem if we go over run all the way over here to the other station it takes two moats to craft one of these cut flawed gems and they're easier to get and for me like i said before i want to make sure that i'm saving these higher rarity gems and stuff like that to craft higher because i'd rather put those gems and stuff into my armor and whatnot but yeah so if i look at these right here these take one of those gems the flawed uh, items whatever to make it and then just two moats which for that is going to be a little bit easier because i'm not cr uh, spending 15 of them to make one of these higher tier versions of the cut gems which i personally just don't think it's worth it plus you have to have a little higher level arcana and it takes the uh second tier of the uh, gem fusion to make it so overall i just don't feel personally that it's worth it to do that um i haven't like i said i haven't gone past 100 in my research um but up until 100 that is one of the ways that i find from my own research time 
is the most beneficial. Um, I'm sure there's going to be those people who have done it a lot and they'll have thoughts and that's totally fine. I want to hear your thoughts, but just at least from my own perspective and the time that I spent looking and stuff, that's what I find to be the most beneficial. I'm sorry, I've said that word so many times, but the best option for me in my grind if I decide to level up the jewel cutting craft. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope that helps you out. I hope that uh, gave you a bunch of different information and I hope to uh, help you in some way <laughs> or something. Um, but anyways, guys, I really, really appreciate you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic night and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.